So if you are interested in uh, designing, simulating, generating code for ADAS algorithms at Simulink, I recommend that you take a look at a new example that we're shipping in 2017B. So in 2017A, we released a new product, Automated Driving System Toolbox. It has some really nice functions inside of it to help with sensor fusion workflows. Um, in 17A, it was primarily MATLAB focused. One of the biggest things we heard is, hey, we also want to do this in Simulink. So in 17B, you have nice block counterparts associated with these that you can use to get started. Uh, but of course, not only do you want blocks to get started, you likely would like to have the right context. Some examples of modeling patterns that will take you through simulation, through code generation in a closed loop system. In addition to these blocks for sensor fusion, what we've also done is added a model predictive controller to it. We chose this technology because it's gaining a lot of, populated, a lot of uh, popularity in automated driving applications. And if we uh, take a look at this example and we run it, you'll see that we have a bird's eye plot. We can plot the Eagle vehicle, the coverage areas of the vision and the radar sensors. Uh, when you zoom in, you'll see how we are modeling the uh, multiple detections that you would get from a radar detector, a, the single detection you typically would get from a vision-based detector. By being able to synthesize these signals in closed loop, you can go about designing your controller algorithm and go about creating test scenarios. So in this case, we're gonna have uh, an inconsiderate purple vehicle that moves in front of us in order to pass an orange vehicle. And uh, the adaptive cruise control is aware of this and slows down. So with this framework, you can start exploring your own algorithms, start creating additional test scenarios. Uh, but as much as we love simulation, you eventually need to get to hardware and try your ideas out on your embedded application. So the example is partitioned to support C++ code generation. You'll notice also that the way we've configured it, it is a method, but we've partitioned out clearly the sensor fusion and the model predictive controller components so that you can explore them. Before you take your algorithm actually into a vehicle, you might want additional confidence that the code actually compiles and is numerically correct. So in the example, you can also do software in the loop testing to compile the code, execute the code, and verify that the signals are behaviorally correct. So if you want to take a closer look at these modeling patterns in this example, uh, please download a trial version of the Automated Driving System Toolbox, a model predictive control toolbox. Uh, it starts shipping in 17B, and it's in subsequent releases, and hopefully this is a good spot for you to get started with our tools. Thank you.